Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and where we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. In today's episode, the topic is, does the lack of support for Paul George expose a double standard in sports? So that's the topic I want to get into in today's video. But before we get into that, I want you guys to please make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content. So yes, it is, y'all know. Um, the biggest news in sports right now is the is the news surrounding Simone Biles. Um, she, Simone Biles is the I hope I'm pronouncing her name properly, her last name properly. Biles is the greatest Olympic uh, gymnast of all time. Recently, she was at the top the Tokyo Olympics, and she decided to discontinue her time there, or stop, basically quit and stop playing, because she said she was having some mental health concerns. Essentially, what happened what happens happened was this. She was performing a maneuver. She didn't perform it as, as well as she customarily uh, does. And then after that, she just, I think she walked over to the sideline and just, I guess, told her teammates to listen, I don't think I can continue anymore. And later, la later that day during a press conference, she actually, uh, you know, um, spoke about some of her reasons for um, deciding not to con uh, continue. So for the people that didn't hear it, I want you guys to take a listen to a compilation of some of the things that she had to say as it pertains to her deciding not to continue at the Olympics. So take a listen to this. I just felt like it would be a little bit better to take a back seat, uh, work on my mindfulness. And I knew that the girls would do an absolutely great job. And I didn't want to risk the team a medal for uh, kind of my screw ups because they've worked way too hard for that. So I just decided that the, those girls need to go in and do the rest of the competition. No, um, no injury, thankfully. And that's why I took a step back because I didn't want to do something silly out there and get injured. So I thought it was best if these girls took over and did the rest of the job, which they absolutely did. They're Olympic silver medalists now, and they should be really proud of themselves for how well they did last minute having to go in. Um, and it's been really stressful, this Olympic Games, I think, just as a whole, um, not having an audience. There are a lot of different variables going into it. It's been a long week. It's been a long Olympic process. It's been a long year. Um, so just a lot of different variables. And I think we're just a little bit too stressed out. Um, but we should be out here having fun. And sometimes that's not the case. Yeah, we're going to take it a day at a time. I know tomorrow that we have um, a half day or at least the morning off. Um, so it'll be a good mental rest. And so we'll take it from there. Now, um, in there, you know, she basically gave her reasons as to why she didn't. Um, she, she decided not to continue. And this decision that she made sparked a debate across uh, the sports world. Right. A lot of people started taking sides. Some people said that she quit. Some people said it said that it was within her right to make that decision. And some people didn't know what to make of it, uh, to be quite honest with you. But um, overall, she got a groundswell of support, especially from the major news networks, major sport ne networks. Even Colin Cowherd came out yesterday saying that Michael Jordan and Tom Brady never faced the type of pressure that Simone Biles faced um, uh, or faced in her career. And I, I thought that was a bit wrong. That was a wrong headed uh, statement uh, to, to make. But nevertheless, the majority of the people out there uh, pretty much uh, supported her. The problem is this, though. The problem is that all of this support that she's receiving is beginning to expose an alarming double standard in sports, an alarming one. Just last year, Paul George, for those of you who don't know, is an American basketball player that plays for the L.A. Clippers. Paul George in the Orlando bubble last year, remember, the NBA had to have its playoffs in the Orlando bubble due to the, 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 the global pan pandemic that we were going through. And they basically took all of their players and they isolated them in this bubble for about, I think, a two and a half month period, depending on how long you were going to be there as far as how far your team made it in the playoffs and some people spoke about the challenges of being there and we also heard some rumblings that some people some players didn't even want to be there so towards the end of paul george's time in the bubble after the clippers got eliminated he spoke about some of the challenges that he was having as far as mentally for being in the bubble he said it affected him mentally and he wasn't in the right state of mind and it really hurt his performance in the bubble the moment Paul George made that admission publicly, he was ridiculed all across sports media and let's say culture in general because he showed weakness. He was being called Pandemic P. 
his 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 his, his uh, contemporaries in the sport were making fun of him. They were calling him so soft. I heard people on TV saying that for him to come out there as a show about for him to say that he was having uh, mental health issues for being in the bubble. They said it was a sign of weakness. This was something that happened all year long. Right. The the the, the moniker of Paul, uh, pandemic P was birthed in the Orlando bubble. This came from the land uh, from the Orlando bubble. And he was made. For, he was basically made fun of because they said, listen, he showed a sign of weakness. Now, given the fact that Paul George was going through those mental hurdles, he still stayed in the Orlando bubble. He still stayed. He could have easily decided, you know what? I'm just going to leave. But he never left. He stayed all the way to the end. His team lost and he stayed there. Although it was it was an uncomfortable circumstance for him. He never left. He stayed and he played. Uh, he played. He played. Uh, he um, he played his way through and he never quit. He never quit. Right. But he was crucified because he was showing weakness. Had Paul George decided to leave the Orlando bubble because of mental health issues, he would have been crucified. He would have been crucified. He would have said he was selfish. He was not thinking about his teammates. He was not thinking of his coaching staff. He was not thinking of his organization. He would have been, I mean, the guy would have been scolded. But I noticed that when Simone Biles decided to leave the Olympics, no one questioned it. People applauded her. And my question is this, what type of double standard are we witnessing here? What type of double standard are we witnessing here? Because what I'm what, what I'm beginning to understand is that some of the same people that made fun of Paul George are the same ones who are saying that, you know, it's, it's, it's within her right. Mental health is such an important thing. And it is. It is an important thing. But my question is, why is it only important for one person and it's not for the other person? Why is it OK for one person as a reason not to, you know, to, to not continue? But for another person, when they bring it up, they're weak. And the, the strangest part of it all is, even if you listen to her soundbite, she didn't sound apologetic. She didn't sound apologetic. It, the, 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 the sense I got from it was, I was disappointed. I didn't want to hurt my team. But you know what, guys? There'll be another time. You should at least be happy you got the silver. That's how it came across to me. When Paul George, at the end of the playoffs, was talking about his, you know, the challenges, the mental health issues he was having, he sounded very contrite. He, I mean, he, he he showed a lot of contrition. He showed a lot of remorse. He seemed very apologetic, very apologetic. And he was ramrodded for even, you know, uh, making those type of statements, um, you know, uh, you know, uh, publicly. So my question is, where's this double standard coming from? Because there is a clear double standard. There's a clear double standard because PG went out there and even blamed himself. The guy blamed himself. He said, I should have been better. I hurt my team by my play. He took ownership of the fact that he played like crap. Even while still having those mental issues. And I didn't hear that. I didn't hear anything from her saying, you know, listen, I really caught some of these girls an opportunity or some of my teammates to win a gold medal. I didn't hear any of that. And all I heard was it will it will it was within her right. Now, I said this yesterday. It was 100 percent within her right. But a lot of people are supporting her and they're speaking about the importance of mental health. But when Paul George had the same issue just a year ago, I didn't see any of this. The same people that are standing up for Simone Biles were the same ones making fun of Paul George. So my question is this. Has it gotten to the point where it's okay if a man is going through mental health issues? It's not that deep. It's not that. It's not that big of a problem. It's fine. But if a woman is going through it, it's more severe. I thought. I thought mental health issues are mental health. Uh, mental health issues. I don't think these things discriminate between gender. I think men are affected the same way as women are when it comes to depression, when it comes to being. You know, uh, w w uh, you know, when it comes to f f feeling fear, disappointment, uncertainty and pain, pain is pain. Uncertainty is uncertainty. Fear is fear. And for Paul George, 
I saw him get crucified when he spoke about his mental mental health issues. He was made made fun of. And he never quit. But when Simone Biles decided to do it, she was applauded for it. So my question is, what is going on? Now, some people may feel that this is controversial. No, no, no. It's not controversial. It's a double standard that exists that we need to speak to or that we need to discuss. Because I'll tell you this. Women have to put up with a bunch of crap in this world. There's no doubt about it. But so do men. Human beings go through crap. Men are human beings. They experience pain. They experience fear. And I just, I just, I just had to sit back and think about it and go back just a year ago. And I remember Paul George being made fun of by male, by, by, by his male counterparts, all of these people, no one said he was courageous when he did that. Only a few, maybe Brandon Marshall was the only exception. He's been consistent because he defended Paul George and he defended Simone Biles. He's been the only one. So I never heard any of that. All I heard was, you know, why are you making excuses? Toughen up. Stop showing weakness. That's what I heard. And it's a double. It, it, this is a double standard. And I think it exists. And it's something we need to talk about. It's something we need to talk about because it is glaring now. It is glaring. Some people brought this up. But what about Paul? And I had to think. But this is true. What about Paul George? So what I want to know from you guys, what are your thoughts? Do you think a double standard exists? And do you think that mental health issues affects uh, it, it's, it, it has has a more pointed effect depending on the gender? Like meaning, does it affect men more than it affects women and women or vice versa? I need to know what you guys think about this because this is a serious issue. This is a serious issue. If it's, if, if it's okay for one group, it has to be okay for the other group. That's just the way I see it. But I didn't see Paul George get any such support. I fought on the channel for months. Stop calling him pandemic peace. Stop calling him pandemic. People kept on making fun of him. I spoke about the effect that that could have on a person's side. No, 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 nobody. Told him. It doesn't matter. He should deal with it. He called himself pandemic. He called himself playoff peace. Well, she called herself the GOAT. So what is going on here? And this is something. And, and, and to be to be to be to be 100 percent honest with you, I don't care if I offend anyone. Because I'm being balanced. I'm being balanced. If me being balanced offends you, that's your bloody business. But I'm going to be balanced here. Yesterday, I came out, supported her. I support every group that I feel that is being wrong. But this is a, this is this is a, this is this is an alarming double standard that we need to address. So, what I want to know from you guys is, what do you guys think about this entire situation? Do you think Paul George should have got the same benefit of the doubt that Simone Biles got? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Again, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to make sure you go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content. Once again, this is Charles here from Dreamers Pro. Wishing you guys an amazing day. Catch you guys on the next episode.